In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can fix Fortnite Chapter 7 crashing on your PC. This is super easy to fix. And if it does help you out, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. If you really just hop in the channel, it lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. And if at any point that this guide you do have any questions, just ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. But if Fortnite keeps crashing when you try and open it or say it randomly crashes mid game, one of the main reasons is your rendering mode. You might be using DX12 and your system runs better on performance mode or vice versa. So here's how we can fix that. Begin by obviously opening up the Epic Games Launcher, but don't launch Fortnite yet. Go to your library and find Fortnite on here, and you're going to see these little three dots next to it. Go ahead and select that, and from here, go ahead and choose Options. From here, it's going to open up a page that looks like this, and make sure you only have what you actually need installed. If you don't play Save the World, don't install it. There's no need for that. Also, disable high-resolution textures because they can absolutely cause crashing. And where it says pre-downloaded streamed assets, make sure that this is actually enabled just like so. Next, back out of this section again, hit those three dots. And this time, we're going to go ahead and go into manage. And then specifically, go ahead and select verify files. This is going to check every Fortnite file on your PC to see if there's any missing or corrupted files. And it's going to automatically fix them. So just let that process finish. And from here, go down to the launch options tab right here and tick it on. There's a few things that we're going to type in here. What you're going to want to do is type it in a specific way. Now, if DX11 keeps crashing, you could force DX12 by typing in dash DX12, just like so. If DX12 is a problem and you want to force performance mode, go ahead and type in dash D3D11. And if your game keeps freezing on the initial loading splash screen, go ahead and add dash no splash, just like so. Lastly, if you are getting GPU related crashes or errors, go ahead and hit dash disable GPU crash debugging just like so. And just so you know, you can combine these, just put a space between them and they'll all apply. But that's really all you need to go ahead and do. Your game should stop crashing after this. If this guy did help you out, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help with the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. And if at any point throughout this guy did you have any questions, just ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. Have a great rest of your day though. Peace.